Hey guys, Richard Boo here with another video, and today I want to do kind of discussion, a little topic. I want to touch on a little incident that's popped up in the YouTube community lately. Originally, I was going to talk about Keemstar and how I felt uh, towards that whole situation, but that situation kind of died down. And it didn't really die down, but it kind of got overshadowed by this new situation that's popped up. Um, you guys don't know about it. A couple days ago, I think it started with H3H3 H3 Productions. He made this video on CSGO. I, was, I think it was called CSGO Lies or Deceptions. And he basically talked about how Valve and CSGO and these YouTubers, uh, T. Martin and Syndicate, are basically there's are rigging CSGO. They have this site called CSGO Lotto, and they... It's basically been so sketchy, they've rigged it, and he's basically debunking them. They're, so basically, if you don't know what's happening, T. Martin and Syndicate are the owners of CSGO Lotto. I know uh, T. Martin is the main owner, and he has been owner since day one, and he's trying to been avoiding it. In some of his videos, he's been promoting it. All his gambling videos, he's been promoting Oh, guys, I found this new site, blah de blah de blah it's great, it's called CSGO Lotto, go check it out. I'm not owner, I just won like a couple dollars on it, I found it, and it was really great. He's been an owner, he hasn't disclosed, he owned that site, and people, people are really mad at him, because they, he owns the site, there's been proof that he's been on the bots, people, I know one video he was on a CSGO Lotto bot, and people are just saying, oh, all the results are rigged, all the outcomes are fucked, um, their house always wins, which is completely true, the house always does win never bet on these sites because they're pretty much scammed and that pretty much was proved this week with Disco Lotto and everything. You know if one site does it, a bunch of other sites do it. They don't have to be YouTubers to do it. They can be anyone. They just bet on their own site. If they lose, go to the bots, get their stuff back. You know, you know how it works. But basically, they're being sued or something. I know people in Florida are suing them. Some parents are suing them. And they're not really talking on the subject right now because they can't. They literally can't. I know there was a tweet out with their attorney. I think attorney like made a quote or something said that T. Martin Syndicate aren't going to be talking anymore on this subject until the matter is resolved because they don't want to incriminate themselves. So they don't want to mess up evidence or something. I know T. Martin made an apology video. It was a very bad apology video and he deleted it. I know. T. Martin's deleted a lot of videos with evidence on his YouTube channel as of this day. And, um, man, I feel sorry for these guys because they, they fucked up. And they're, I, I don't know, man. The thing with YouTubers, they're, you know he's going to come back. He's going to have a fan base because any YouTubers can have a fan base. So it's like what Grade A under A said. You can't kill a YouTuber. These things are literally the fucking cockroaches of the fucking internet. YouTubers are cockroaches of the internet. Dude, you cannot kill a YouTuber at all. They will have a fan base. I've seen the slimiest people on this platform and they still have fan bases. You know, dude, you cannot kill a YouTuber. I'm interested to see how this pans out. Um, so basically, I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I know they're gonna lose a lot of money. I know, I know they have a lot of money to lose <laughs> because they made a shit ton from CSGO Lotto among YouTube views and everything else, but I, I don't know how this is going to play out. How do you guys think this is going to play out? Because I'm pretty much, uh, I'm pretty much done with that topic. I'm done with CS:GO entirely. I mean, I know it's a a big topic because a lot of people still play CS:GO, and dude, the, the there's skins in that game that are like I've seen above 10k skins, and you know the knives in that game. They've scammed a lot of people, and I'm sure there's a lot of angry people. Man, the high tier traders probably that lost a lot on those sites that have gambled. They're probably gonna go lash out on them unless they're like, okay, dude, these are rigged. The we want our money back. They're pretty much fucked. They pretty much have the whole CSGO community or a majority of the CSGO community. All the gamblers. Think of all the gamblers that lost. And they're going to say, hey, I played on your site. I lost. I think you're rigging the uh, outcomes. And they probably are. But I mean, good luck to them. Uh, I don't know how they're going to get out of this. I know they're going to weasel their way out of it. People always do. But what do you guys think? I want you guys to tell me in the comments what you think about this whole situation. What do you think to have you ever played csgo have you ever bet on csgo i know personally i've never bet on csgo to this point i know i've gotten i've had a pretty decent inventory a pretty uh, i think i've gotten up to 800 dollars on csgo but i never bet to get any of that i never bet and i never lost any of that i pretty much just got it and then sold it and bought some stuff that uh, could actually have a good purpose in real life 
Because, dude, betting is just throwing money away from my eyes. So, yeah, that's pretty much my take on the topic. I, th I think it's a bad thing what they did. I think they're gonna, they're gonna pay the consequences. I think the apology video definitely did not help T. Martin's case at all. It wasn't sincere. And it also told him in court, he also said, Hey, you guys, I actually... I messed up and like the parents are gonna be like well you said yourself you messed up and I dude it's just a whole shit storm at this point for me so another topic I want to touch on just a little bit before I end the video I'm pretty much ending the video here so guys remember to leave a like and subscribe if you like the content if you want more content and also I want your suggestions in the comments on what type of giveaways I can do for you guys because we've gained a little bit more subscribers lately and I'm wondering what guys, what, what consoles do you play? What games would you think I should give away? Do you want me to give away CSGO keys? Uh, do you want me to give away COD points? Do What do you want guys? Do you want a DLC? I'm just thinking that I should give back to my community and just tell me in the comments what you guys would think would be cool for a future giveaway. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great day and see you guys next time. Peace out.